Welcome to the Nook on the Voluntary Virtues Network. Word. <laughs> I'm here today with John. Word. <laughs> Bird is a word. Riley. Word. <laughs> Chelsea. Word. <laughs> and uh, this guy. Zach. <laughs> Zach is down. Hey, I was. <laughs> I did not forget anybody's name last week. I want to point that out. You were here last week. <laughs> Yeah. yeah. I'm <laughs> Were you here last week? I don't remember. <laughs> it doesn't go uh, seven days back. And then Mike. <laughs> I also can't think forget the Mike. The word. Yeah. Yeah. And suddenly everybody's quiet. Yeah. yeah well, you know. they're drinking. Yeah. Steve. Um, I don't know. It's a thirty-third. Thirty-third. It's not degree? latitude thirty-three. <laughs> it is not thirty latitude thirty-three. Even though that's the glass the, uh, I'm using. Now this is a chocolate porter, spiced chocolate porter by Stone, uh, XO something rather. Zacolata. Something like that. XO. Something like that. Something like that. Something like that. It's a weird one. I don't blame you for not remembering it. It is tasty though. (laughs) (laughs) You come across a spicy chocolate stout from Stone. That's what we're talking about. No, it's really good. Um... Yeah, it's a really good stout. I like it. I like it because it's different. It's unique for a stout with the spices. Mm-hmm. You don't see that a lot with stout, so I, I can appreciate that. Do you remember the, uh, the, no, the really, <laughs> it, it was like 11 and a half percent by, it was, um, the Doomsday Fail Anniversary Ale. I do remember that. By Agrist Ales. Yeah, those crazy bastards, huh? I do remember that. <laughs> I do remember that. That was yeah, an amazing. It was, it was spicy like this, too. It was, it was an amazing beer. I do remember that. Word. A lot more alcohol <laughs> than this, though. A lot more alcohol than this. Yeah, yeah I was dude, always a big fan of Morning Wood myself, but, you know. Morning Wood. <laughs> morning Wood is my favorite. That's Word. My favorite. Word. Word. <laughs> I know I can appreciate good Morning Wood. <laughs> <laughs> and it just keeps on going. <laughs> anyway, to get to the topic. Right, we have one of those. Word. <laughs> 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 wow. So tonight we have uh, A real treat. the question it for the t- for the night is: Does objective morality exist? And. What does it mean to believe that it does, or or what does do, does objective the idea of objective morality lead to statism? No. <laughs> what do you think, Zach? Well, I'm gonna start off by saying morality doesn't exist. Oh, you're one of those devils. <laughs> you're one of those devils. I, that's what I was curious in, about. In my, in my defense, advocate you were. <laughs> now I know. In my defense, the definition of, of existence is for something to persist objectively be, uh, outside of one's presence. Whoa, wait. Repeat? <laughs> the definition of existence okay. is for something to objectively persist outside of one's presence. What does that mean, outside of one's presence? It basically means if it's in your, if it's in your head, it doesn't exist. If, if, you stop, if you stop thinking it and it goes away, it doesn't exist. It doesn't exist. It's it's just an idea, an idea. So that so like these logs here, if you were to die right now, mm-hmm. or leave, mm-hmm. they would still be here, mm-hmm. regardless of whether you were here or not. But he's saying that they wouldn't. And he's saying that because you morality does not exist absent of. Oh, people. Of yeah. No, oh, of course not. I'd agree. It's an abstraction. Yeah, that, uh, that's that's what existence means. Uh, existence. But if you're a uh, rock. <laughs> If you're a person, then I think there are like other things to consider. Then they can exist with the. So because it's so part. To, it's an abstract part of our existence. It's not as real as like a piece of wood or something. We have our own. Ex- we, we we exist on our own. Our ideas <coughs> don't exist. Uh, I'm sorry. Uh, we exist on our own, uh-huh. independently of our ide- of our ideas. Okay, mm-hmm. but our ideas don't exist independently of us. And uh, morality is an idea. Henceforth, morality doesn't exist apart from us. Exactly. Morality does, does not exist. I get and that. If, and, and by that extension, objective morality cannot exist either. 
Mm, I kind of see what you're saying, but at the same time, everybody, because... If, if, if morality existed, it, it would be objective. It would be... It, it, you, you'd, I'd, I'd, I'd ask you to give me a plate full of morality. I can't, you can't it, give me a plate full of love either, necessarily, but... Well, love doesn't exist either. It's just a chemical reaction. I thought this was there, objective versus subjective and not whether it exists or not, right? So. Well, I see, I well it, it, is, it, can't, it can't be objective if it doesn't exist. Can it be subjective and exist? Yeah, it's, it's an idea. But okay, so it can exist. Just people, in a no, it's, realm. It, it, can't, it doesn't exist, and it can't exist. Wait, what? It's just, it's just an idea. It, it, can't ex- it doesn't exist, and it can't exist? Yeah, it can't exist because it doesn't exist. Wait, but if it can exist subjectively, then it, it can't it, exist. It, it, if it's subjective, it still doesn't exist. It's still so just wait, an idea. So wait, are subjects, are, are people subjects? Yeah. Do people, so, so, people are objects. People, people objects. are objects. People are objects. Hmm. That's interesting. We all, we also just so happen to be living. I mean, it's kind of cool. We got all these we different also, things that go we have, on. We happen to be sentient, yeah. but it, does, it doesn't mean. Well, we're what not is the objects. definition of a subject then versus object? If people are. Objects? Are we talking grammar now? <laughs> no, I'm talking. <laughs> okay, okay, all right, all right, all right. So, 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 so just so, I mean, just simply say. like dictionary definition of objective and subjective. Is that what you're looking for then? Uh, I'm looking for how. The validation of the notion that subjective morality doesn't exist. Well, all morality, oh, all okay. morality doesn't exist. It's just a, your distinction. I'm sorry. All morality does not exist. All morality it's, does not exist. It's just your just it's just because your it's distinction. Idea. It's just your distinction because it's your idea, and yeah. ideas don't exist independent of individuals. Exactly. But individuals exist independent of ideas. Because we because yeah we speak. and individuals are objects. I see what so you're saying. So if I objectify my fellow doesn't... person, does that make me? Within the lines of like a moral. If you if you ob- what if you ob- objectivize like if make an object out of my fellow person like meaning <clears throat> treat them see because for me when I, mean, I like think if, of, if you enslave if, Steve right yeah if I treat Steve like an like a like a piece of property of mine well, that's, injectivize them in that way well that well that, that, that that's that's just so your, that's moral or that's not moral because morality doesn't exist it's just a thing so it's, it's neither it, it's, it's just, neither just what you choose it's just, it's just an action what you choose to do it's just an action and then Steve has his action in regards to what I do whether or not to resist it to the death or to go along with it and so yeah whatever, whatever he chooses to do is what he chooses to do but it's neither right or wrong because right and wrong are right right, right and wrong are abstractions dangerous. and they, they don't exist either don't you mm. think there's uh, morality that exists for most people, though. Whether it, it's like but if if nine 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 pe- pe- nine nine percent of people agree on something, it doesn't mean it's, it's objective. Uh, okay, that, that's, so that's a distinction. It it doesn't it doesn't have to have to be, to be divided. So, but divided we're not talking so about subjective. You're saying if someone I'm saying if nine nine percent people think think rape is wrong, that doesn't mean they're wrong. It doesn't mean they're right. But it's still a subjective reality and it still exists in that way. If anyone wants to get raped, it's not rape. It's rough sex. It's consensual. Right? Mm-hmm. So uh, well I'm I'm not I'm not, I'm not I'm not I'm saying I'm not saying the act of rape is not inherently wrong, it's not inherently good, it's just an action. And many people many many people oppose that action and that's that's what they feel. Because that, that, that's that's because that's what morality Morality is, still, is just a value judgment, just just like how you would value Bitcoin over U.S. currency. See, I don't like the whole science, oh. like Sam Harris, see morality, free will doesn't exist, because it, I don't know, it doesn't make a lot of sense to me, just because it's not, there's a lot of things that we can't see that, we know that are real, and an idea is kind of that well, same but we, thing. We can, test, we can test them if they do exist. Can't you test an idea? Mm, no. You, well, how could you test? And how, how how could you? If you could get a number of people together and say this many believes that you know it's wrong to rape somebody, then that is a solid idea that almost everybody's agreeing on, and that makes it that. Well, that well that, that doesn't make it an actual. It doesn't it doesn't if they they all stop believing it, would it would it still exist? Would would it, would, would, it, would it still? If if yeah. everyone changed their mind, would would would, would rape still be yeah. wrong? Yeah. It's universal on this planet that no one wants to be stolen from, no one wants to be raped, no one wants to be murdered, and no one wants to be assaulted. But, but, but if, what, if they, well, that's by the definition of the word, right? If they want one of the, exactly, if they want one of those, then it's not murder, rape, assault, yeah. or theft. It's something that's just else. A math exactly. So that's so a foundational, logical 
rational foundation for moral action. Well, no, well, no, no one likes having their preferences violated. That, that's, the, that's the whole thing. Be- because people have their own preferences. Yeah, no. but no one has a preference to be raped, murdered, stolen from, or whatever. Well, they, by they definition, they would not be called by those. Yeah, but that's the thing, though. If 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 they if it was if it was, then like we, it wouldn't be called. It's not theft if it's if it's consensual. Consensual, consensual. consensual yeah. right? Hmm. So, for me, a lot of this. But the question. Go ahead. I, I think the Wrong question <coughs> here is: Is non-consent? Uh. Uh. uh it is does that constitute morality? Uh, I don't get rephrase. <laughs> right. So uh, you you can say objectively that you don't consent to something or you do consent to something, but you but does that make it right or wrong? Right. So objectively. can I get an example? Or to rape assault and death. Yeah. So like, so like use that in a you scenario. you would say like like for instance. Uh, somebody rapes you. Okay, and I get raped. You don't like it. I don't. And that I didn't, I didn't and that that's raped. like the definition of rape. Yeah, I didn't because because otherwise it's you know rough 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 sex essentially. Right. You know. Um, so does that make it? So, but does question. that make it wrong? So that I does, got. Does that make it right or wrong? I think it that you don't like it. Doesn't obviously make it right. That doesn't make that, it wrong. That that you that you uh, don't consent to it does does. Does that make it objectively wrong that you don't consent? Well, insofar as I'm an object, <laughs> and uh, it, my my you know objective stance on the matter is that I would not want this done to me, then I would say yeah, it would make it objectively wrong. Is it absolute because morality something you have it's to universal. think about? Because you have morality, and absolute morality is like things that basically people don't like it when people kill babies. They don't like it like things that even more demented people would say like that's wrong you know doesn't isn't there like some absolutes to what humans uh, feel there is an absolute to what people will feel because all that is all that is derived from the mind yeah all that see, all that is a preference so here, here's all, the thing. all that is, is a preference. <coughs> but that's a universal preference right so yeah. it's, 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 it's not it's, 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 not, it's not a universal things, reference if there's four things that everyone on this planet every rational it's person can, can agree on this planet is that they don't want to be murdered don't they don't want to be raped they don't want to be assaulted and they don't want to be stolen from but that but the distinction yeah. is if, it, if they did it wouldn't be that I'm gonna melt I'm sorry. I'm Were saying. I'm saying the distinction is that is if they did want to be murdered, if they did want to be stolen from, it wouldn't be that way. So well, then it, it wouldn't be a murder. Yeah, it's, 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 like it's, if it's, I want to die and I say shoot me and you shoot me, that's not immoral. Oh, I like. I like well, well, no, not not to you. <laughs> not to you, but. Huh? It may, it may not be immoral to you. I'm saying. Well, because what, I'm saying, I want what, it to what makes the claim? So. What makes it, what makes your claim <laughs> better than another's? It, what makes. Someone is based on objective okay, morality. Okay, for, take for example this. <laughs> what makes the act well, of rape wrong? You're gonna tell me off in decibels tonight, I think. You're gonna tell me off in decibels. Okay, so take, take, take for example, there's two. <laughs> take for example, there's two, two, two claims. I'm not. <laughs> take for example, there's two claims. I'm not. I'm not arguing for one or the other. That's I'm saying. <laughs> I can't concentrate because I'm worried that Chelsea's feet's gonna burst into flames. Oh, no, I'm just I think I she's gonna be okay. It's not by the fire. I don't like it. It is. It is. California cold out here. <laughs> it's like 69 degrees, folks. Hold the phone. Like, yeah, we're California. Yeah. Not that we're in California or anything. I, hey, I thought we were doing this on a mountaintop in Tunisia. Well, who said we were in California? Yeah, when did this happen? I'm, I'm in the Himalayas. So right now, right now, yeah, we're actually 15 feet under. Oh, okay, so, so I, I kind of want to. Uh, I, I want to. In the middle of the day, that's address right. this in like in terms of of, um, Funny, of of what of what of what Zach is saying. I'm not saying that I agree with Zach, but I, I, I want to speak to it in those same terms. So we all want we all we all generally want to feel safe on a daily basis, right? We want to feel safe, secure that we that we are in control of, of what we can be in control of. Is that that's that's fairly universal? I'm pretty sure. <laughs> Zach, that that's something you'd agree with. That that would be a preference of pretty much everybody here. Is that we all want to, we all want to be secure in what we can control. You know, safe in another word. So control is an illusion. Right. Well, your yeah, control isn't the right word. You're right. So, anyways, all is an illusion. So, so we want we want to you know we want to feel secure in you know in again specifically I'm using the word feel on purpose. We yeah. want to feel secure. So um, we all want that, and over time. 
society's become more peaceful, right? Don't have really... we evolved to have that feeling? Yes. Yeah. So, so we all want to be more peaceful, <laughs> and so to have a more peaceful society, there are certain things that, as you said, 99% of society have agreed that is, is wrong. Uh, murder, rape, robbery, fraud, that sort of a thing. Those, those, those things are wrong. So... I'll agree with you that it is subjective, but if we want to have a more peaceful society and get to a place where we don't have these hierarchies and stuff that are killing people and and dropping a bombs and vaporizing entire cities, we See, you know they, a, there are certain that's things. That's an if then statement and not a. That's a what? That's a what? That's an if then statement and not a and not a. Is odd. Is odd. I've been thinking about it and it makes sense. Okay, so if. Ideas are subjective, then morality is also subjective, is what you're saying. Well, morality, yeah, well, this morality is an idea. Right. I'm sorry? Yeah, yeah because they're so, so here might be. I guess see. They don't even. You know, you know what? I'll, 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 I'll get to say it, but. Yeah, I want to hear my beef. Okay. <laughs> he wants to hear his beef. I want to hear my own beef, damn it. This is my beef. Okay, okay let's hear what Riley has to say. Heard. <laughs> Let's do all the things that you want to do. <laughs> Only because you guys have been doing the things you want to do for the past 17 minutes. No, I'm joking. I'm totally joking. It's, it's, I forgot. No, uh, so basically, if... Let's see if I can... 16 this is, and this a half. Is, this, is, you know, this is pretty relatively deep, deep going. Here, so let's see if I can pull this out. Um, you're saying that your morality <laughs> doesn't exist because it isn't objective. And you're saying morality exists. See, I don't know if I can string this together. It's like too deep. I, I, can't, I, can't, I can't bring it to the forefront. It Riley, really it, Riley you've said some deep shit before. I think you got it. No, no. no. <laughs> you know, you know what? Yeah. Riley. Okay, so basically, here's my here's my. Beat. If morality is significant to the individual who, in my understanding, is subjective, but if you're in your understanding. Uh, you know, persons aren't subjective, they're objective. Then go ahead. It, nonetheless, we all find, you know, we, we don't want certain things done to ourselves because, uh, they're, like you say, they're not desirable, right? That, that we, we don't prefer them uh, over certain other things. So, this is what, damn it. It's, it's so, it's like water, you try to grasp it and it leaves. Um, well, it is pretty cold out here. It might be a little bit easier to grab it if we win, but... You know. So, basically... <laughs> it's not freezing yet. <laughs> okay. It's still in the 30s. Fuck trying to, from addressing it in, in your terms of uh, terminology. No, it's in the 30s. So, basically, yeah. for me, this whole issue of whether or not morality is objective or subjective boils down to, uh, from what, in my perspective, is a misunderstanding of a qualifying objective things as real and subjective things as non-existent. Mm -hmm. And insofar as you approach morality in that way, yeah, morality doesn't exist because it's subjective. But I think that's a false set of options. I think subjectivity is a reality. <coughs> it's Excuse subjective me. reality, but it's just as meaningful and as, you know... Mm -hmm. It can uh, be meaningful. It can if, be if, meaningful. If it's just there, there can be yeah. sub subjects, well, individual so, subjects, then. who are completely yeah. off yeah. base yeah. with reality. You're saying it's just as, just as meaningful, but nothing is meaningful. Yeah. I'm sorry? You're saying it's just as meaningful, but nothing is meaningful except for what we find meaning yeah, in it. Yeah, I kind of agree. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, we, we're, we're, we're the deciders of what's meaningful and what isn't insofar as, you know, we can't get outside of our perceptional field of experience and we have to deal with things of value. I'm a decider. Huh? I thought you didn't want to be on this episode. No, I wanted to hear it. This is she didn't want to be on camera. It was the specific of a good mic. Look at people who <laughs> believe in war. Right. I mean, it's really murder, really. It's, it's murder. what it is. If it wasn't down to the sound of trumpets, right. Yeah. It's okay. Yeah. Yeah. Because, 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 you know, whatever their reason is. Right. Well, there's, there's okay. just, yeah. So it's like, that's moral to them. Well, Defensive there's, killing, there's, is that, well, is that there's, murder? There's, that's moral to them. That's their no, there is a distinction between moral. killing and murder. Well, mur murder is whoever, yes. mur murder is whoever is the government doesn't want murder, doesn't want killed. Sorry? <laughs> murder is whoever the government it's doesn't want killed. It's murder unless it's to the sound of trumpets. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> so can there be absolutes then if it's subjective? Yeah. Yeah. 
if, 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 if they're <coughs> absolutes, then they'd have to just okay. It had it had to exist other other than if we oh. change. If we change our minds, would they still be absolutes? If we, yeah, so if we, yeah. Yeah. I, I kind of want to jump off of what uh, from what Riley was saying earlier. You're saying that that subjective reality is just as real yeah. because yeah. it because it's your reality is what you're experiencing yeah. so could you then say from from that point could you then say that that feelings we experience love the exact opposite hate so on and so forth that those are real because we're feeling them love, because because, maybe a because it's a part of our existence yeah. and we can't yeah. escape yeah. it that I want to hear, hear the you totality of your question because I feel like it's such a beautiful question <laughs> so ah oh, damn it what was the exact question no, oh, I was just going off of what you were saying. No, yeah, so love, hate, these things are real. Th that, that because right. they're real because we feel you them and there's no way to escape no, that no, feeling because no, it's a part not, of our existence. That's not part completely of our existence. true. If okay. you look at, like, the yeah. studies and stuff, <laughs> right? Right. Yeah, as long as it's for me, though. People can change <laughs> the molecules of water so yeah. with, like, love yeah. and hate. So just because we don't see them doesn't mean that there's an energy that's actually happening Physiologically, objectively yeah. right okay and, you know I, I can agree with that I'm, know, not, I'm not disagreeing with it I was just no yeah, okay. it can be objective but we just right. don't really see it that way yeah. okay all right yeah subjective reality means on the level and that's a part of morality right the water Reality's molecules cool, have you seen the water molecules if people oh, they change them based on the energy that they're feeling the emotion. so that is a real yeah. thing you know it's affecting I don't know what you're talking something about. else there's a, there's a scientist oh, a Japanese mind. scientist who did a bunch of studies on whether or not thoughts Intention. and feelings Intention affect the physical world and he did yeah. it through measuring people's or re measuring water, water molecules in the presence of people with intense particular emotions like hatred or love or generosity or thankfulness. I don't, you I have to say something I don't, I don't like really, that. I don't really believe that that could be a really uh, really accurate study. There could be the there could be so yeah, many I'll, variables. I'll send you the book on it, man. And you'll fucking dig it. It, it was a uh, it was a uh, you know a documentary <laughs> also called uh, the documentary was called What the Bleep Do We Know? Oh yeah. And it was that was part of it yeah, was was right. these Buddhist monks were praying. It was essentially literally a. Uh, a <laughs> Uh, you know, just a you, water cooler, uh -huh. and one of them that they, you know, they were were, were praying to, and, and you know, <coughs> and, and projecting what? feelings of love and whatnot, yeah, and thanks. the other one opposite, and there was there, and there was a control too. There's a well, I could see, was, you know, well, I could see how about, hypothetically your feelings would would affect, affect the energy that you're giving off because everybody gives off energy. That's real. Mm -hmm. I don't even really know what you mean by energy. <laughs> I mean like brain waves, energy dude. waves, like brain waves. Our brain waves don't stay on yeah. our heads. They they like resonate like within a few. Well, it depends um, on how enlightened the person is. Supposedly. I was just gonna say we maybe we should get to the second topic. Which is that? While we have time. Which one's that? Oh no no we we're, 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 we got we got all kinds of time but we got like seven minutes of time. <laughs> yeah, we, got, we got plenty of no, time. No go ahead go ahead. Yeah we're still on we're we haven't gone anywhere from morality at all yet we're not anywhere to like, yeah. any possible other second subject we may possibly ever have. <laughs> all right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, All right, I'll say moral realism always ends in statism. Statism. That's bullshit. No, you know what the opposite is? No, statism is based in moral realism. No, it's based uh, on uh, the fucking that, that, that's idolatry. Where, that's where authority so originates. No, but you can have a community. Authority originates from someone who believes you that. No, it's, 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 it's that idolatry. Is, is, but you're you're a little twisted, but we can talk true. about I it. That, I'd love to talk to you about it. I think that may yeah. be true, Zach, but I don't think the opposite. Well, okay, so... I think, so yes, more <coughs> state might be... Might be it often goes to... No, 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 it's so fucked up. No, no, it's a twisted <laughs> argument. I'll tell you why. Because look, look, because you're saying that absolutes, right? Moral absolutes create statism. But look at what fucking statism is. It's the exact violation of the absolute moral truths that, that we can yours. all agree upon. No, but that's that that's, we can agree upon. The government opinion, can't. So, no, 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 I'm no. Saying, your opinion no, no. is not any, is not any the more valid than the Will not want to get raped, rule. murdered, uh, you know, Ooh. stolen from, or, or injured, assaulted. And so they break those violations. It's not. It's not. No. Well, that, well, that, 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 that's just how you. That's just how you see it. Yeah, a lot of Prudon people said. A lot of people Prudon pay taxes that, voluntarily. That uh, property is theft. I'm sorry. Prudon said that. Property is that. He also said it's like liberty or freedom or yeah, something. He, he, yeah. Yeah. See, that's a paradox yeah. of life. You yeah. gotta embrace that shit. <laughs> 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 no, I can't agree with that. I can't agree that moral absolutism is 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 the creation of statism. I, I think it's completely vice versa. I that, think that, it's well, topside tyranny. Every it's somebody, every, it's some, every single every single ruler has done what they've believed to be the right thing. And, they, and what they believe to do the right thing is the absolute fucking fundamentally wrong thing. And that's but my there point. is no right and wrong. No, there, God damn it! Who are you speaking <laughs> to about this shit? If I shot you in the head, that would not be cool. Tell me that would be cool. 
That would, that would not be cool for you. Right? That would not be a good time. That would be cool for anyone in this group. <laughs> hey, it might be cool for somebody, though. Damn. If they want to die. <laughs> in which case, it's not murder. It's fucking a favor. Yes, it's a it million is, dollar it is, baby. It Have you seen that movie? No. Have you fucking do? Well, well, watch that shooting movie. Shooting someone in the face and is different than assisted suicide. You can't have faith in humanity. Shooting someone in the face is different than assisted suicide. be down to be shot in the face. If you go to a doctor and say you want to die, the doctor isn't going to shoot you in the with a 44 Magnum. I have a question. That's not my point. I have a question, though. Can't you have communities that have certain agreements with each other where it's not like a government thing, but you kind of have absolute agreements with each other, and if you, you break you those can, boundaries, you're out. Me. If you break those boundaries, you, you, get, you get killed. That you was objectively killed, pretty good. Yeah. Yeah. You know, it doesn't have to be like a prison, like a death penalty type of thing, but it just means that they're out of the community because they well, have I'm these not, basic I'm not saying people can't agree. On th- you know, things on a small level, I'm saying that people, I'm saying that statism originates from people doing what they believe is the morally right thing to do. Not that's where, that's what authority comes I, from. They don't have to. Oh. Authority, authority, have authority to comes comes from that that claim. Not, oh, I don't, I don't, from, from, that claim. from the perversion of that claim. Yeah, I'd say. Yeah. I no, I'm still so saying that there is no leaders doing things that they know aren't moral. Right. I don't yeah. Yeah. Think or believe that are not moral. Yeah, they they know it's immoral, but it's in their best interest yeah. because they they have that system there, where I'm there, be very there are soldiers yeah. and and sailors and marines they, they who are doing things that they believe are immoral right but Absolutely. they're just following orders well that's because they, they've been there's, there's a in the system there's a difference between between knowing that people people would disagree with you and doing it anyway and not and, and simply not believing it I'm so simply, say, take for example this you want to kill some babies you know people don't won't like that, yeah. but you don't care yourself. Right. You do it because you, you wouldn't do it yourself if if you, if you cared. Right. Simple as that. It's it's just like it's just like, it's just like how you say rulers do things they they know are wrong. The 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 actual but reality you, you, of that is they know, they know people think that is wrong, but they do it anyway because they don't care. You're so, so here's the here's okay. Go ahead, John. No, it's you. like so. Nothing. It's like I, I could argue or uh, get on the argument that rights don't exist. They're just they an abstraction. They're a tool exist. that allow us to, to navigate objective reality in a way without uh, harming other people, you know, by mitigating as much it, conflict it, as possible. It, it, it depends. It depends. That, it depends. That's morality, what rights right? originate we can, for. Yes. We can, we can uh, reason that no one wants to be murdered, raped, assaulted, to death. So there's a foundational rational basis well, all all that that is, all moral, that is is preference but all that is is preference it's a universal people, preference though it is universal people, yeah cuz nobody universal. who yeah exactly and it, i think it's because people able, able, able want want what they want they want they don't want their preferences violated cuz that's just what they But you know preference. what that's dangerous territory to go in to go in and say that there's no like uh, real morality because but people kind of love excuses to do shit they shouldn't be doing and if morality isn't real, then the, 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 the way but there, there's just a lot, there's a lot more. Because <laughs> 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 that, that, that's kind of the claim. It's kind of similar to the claim how without government, people would people would kill everything, every everyone they wanted. No, that's Say, completely different. You, no, you, I'm saying, okay. saying people right. are saying if All morality right. doesn't exist, I can kill whoever I want. If the government isn't doesn't exist, I can kill whoever I want. I don't see any difference between those two. Okay, well, I'll, I'll tell okay, you. Okay, so I have the question. No. <laughs> <laughs> the government imposes it's itself upon it's you. Your no. own thoughts it's about it. It's time for Steve's question. We all know the list. Steve had a very important question. Time out. <laughs> okay, all right. Steve had a very important question. <laughs> My question is, is if there was a robot uh, who had gained sentience, yeah. right, yeah. okay, and, and you were to have sex with this robot gotcha. against its will, would that be objectively oh immoral? Oh yeah, nothing obviously. Is nothing is objectively immoral. That's the stupidest <laughs> fucking thing. <laughs> 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 nothing is objectively immoral. That's the thing. That means that, that, that means nothing is actually immoral. That yeah. means and but and we end the show with robots. We're, 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 we're out of time. We're out of time. That's cool. Fuck. Nice robot. Bloody clock. We're in. We get part two. There's a part two to this coming. There's a part two to this coming.